Nola Gent here at La Petite Grocery. Good stuff in here, yeah! Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are at La Petite Grocery on a travel search for the best burger options in New Orleans. La Petite Grocery is located in the New Orleans Uptown neighborhood at 4238 Magazine Street, which is about 13 minutes and 4 miles away from the French Quarter. La Petite Grocery is a fine dining establishment that opened up back in 2004, so they got to experience Hurricane Katrina and now the business challenges of the current pandemic situation. La Petite Grocery's location at the intersection of Magazine and General Pershing Streets puts them in a really fantastic location on the big economic artery at Magazine Street in New Orleans, which has a lot of great stores, restaurants, bars, and other entertainment areas to help people enjoy themselves. I've always been a big fan of La Petite Grocery, and I've been eating here for many years, and I have had many fantastic meals here, but one of my favorite things to have here here, has always been to sit at their bar and enjoy what I think is one of the best burgers in the city. It is carnival time in New Orleans right now. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to have our usual celebrations. And this is my first visit back to Le Petit Grocery since they've reopened for dining from the pandemic shutdowns. New Orleans does have a lot of great food, and that also includes some of the best burgers I've ever eaten anywhere. So, I usually don't have to travel too far for the best burger options that I already know about that are some of my favorites, and La Petite Grocery definitely has been one of my favorites that we're going to show you in this visit with our restaurant review video. So, get ready for some fantastic food. And like a lot of New Orleans restaurants, they do have the menu sitting right outside for you to look at. And of course, you got to have your placemat with the restaurant name on it. So let's head on inside and check this place out. So I was a naughty fellow and didn't make a reservation ahead of time. And I'm just walking in and hoping I can grab a seat. It is really crowded today with the reduced capacity seating from the pandemic. I hope I can get in. And I could get in. I think it's thanks to my new friend here, the pig gear. So... I lucked out, was able to still get in and uh, snag a seat. I would recommend, though, you do make a reservation ahead of time in these strange times that we're living in these days. So I'm getting a nice little comfortable seat here in the corner. Uh, I'm a little sad, though. I wish I could sit at the bar. I always enjoy sitting at the bar for lunchtime dining and enjoying the delicious burger. But we'll see what's on the menu today. There are some people in some carnival outfits having a little Mardi Gras fun in a socially distanced way inside the restaurant. So we still do have a little Mardi Gras spirit. They do have some of their daily specials on the chalkboard here. So as we look at the specials, they have a soup of potato, leek, herb, oil, and chives. Then we have the appetizer of chicken tasso gumbo, then a sandwich with slow roasted pork shoulder, and for ice cream, cream cheese, lemon swirl, a strawberry jam, and almonds. Oh, ho, ho. La Petite Grocery isn't the largest restaurant in New Orleans, but they do have some great antique tin tiles in the ceiling, along with some raised design elements also on the sides of the wall here that really give it a fantastic look and ambiance in here. So I really like the way they preserved a lot of the original architecture and design elements of the building, and that really gives it an extra special touch. Well, let's take a look at the menu now and see what we're going to order today. So for appetizers, we have steak tartare, ricotta dumpling, braised beef short rib, blue crab beignets. Those are amazing. I've had those quite a few times. I suggest you try those out. Bitter greens and gulf shrimp salad, apple and celery axe salad. Then we have on the other side our entrees with the LPG cheeseburger. Oh, ho, ho, that is fantastic. Shellfish stew, that is also delicious. Turtle bolognese, also an amazing dish. Roasted lamb T-bones, always a good idea. Pan roasted scallops, again, quite fantastic. Roasted chicken breast is very good. pan rabbit, hey, it tastes like chicken, that's good too. Gulf shrimp and grits, quite amazing. Pan roasted beef sirloin, always delicious. So I've had all of the themes on this menu. And then we have our sides with chilled roasted beets, fried Brussels sprouts, filled peas, baked macaroni, stone ground grits, and hand-cut fries, which again are all fantastic. 
And then on the back of the menu, we get a nice history of this building, which is always a great thing that a lot of New Orleans restaurants do. So the name La Petite Grocery pays homage to the history of the building that houses our restaurant. In the late 1800s, John B. Willing built a Creole-style cottage on the corner of Magazine and Berlin Street, renamed General Pershing after World War I, the streets in the Jefferson City area of New Orleans. He leased the store to a young entrepreneur named Frank W. Mackey, and together they opened the Central Tea Coffee and Butter Depot. The small store was located across the street from the Jefferson Market, a very busy center of trade due to its proximity to the bustling port of New Orleans. Mr. Mackey would sell such items as butter, fresh from the creamery, coffee, which was roasted in the store, teas imported from around the world, as well as local goods like pecans, rice, and field beans. Customers would come by on foot, horse, and buggy, or take a ferry from across the river to purchase the delectable and unique groceries they stocked in their store. The store was enjoying success in a rapidly growing neighborhood. Then on a May night in 1908, a fire that spread roughly two square miles devastated the area and burned the store to the ground. In an act of honorable resilience, Mr. Willing, along with his daughter Josephine, agreed to rebuild at the same address. The architect, Joseph M. DeFreitz, was in charge of the design and construction, while Frank M. Mackey would oversee the whole project. The end result was a building like no other in the neighborhood at the time. It had a full-service grocery store in front and a barn in back to house delivery carriages, a few horses, stable hands, and delivery boys. Once again, Mr. Mackey would be in charge of operating the store, reflected in its new name, Frank W. Mackey Grocer. In advertisements, Mackey boasted of fancy groceries, tea, coffee, and butter remain the store's specialty. The store operated successfully for 35 years, during which Mr. Mackey acquired ownership from the Willings. Before Frank Mackey passed away in 1942, the store was handed down to his youngest son, Richard H. Mackey. Richard, an accomplished jazz musician, operated the store with his mother, Mrs. Winifred Fahey Mackey, until November of that year before selling the building and grocery store to Frank A. Vanderhaar. The Vanderhaars operated their grocery, Vanderhaar's Fine Foods, for nearly four decades and was a staple in the uptown neighborhood known for its high quality butcher shop and citywide delivery until it closed in 1982. Not long after Vandahar's closed its doors, Irwin's Flowers moved in and provided the area with some of the most artfully presented fresh floral arrangements in the New Orleans area. Mr. Irwin's Flower Shop closed just after the turn of the millennium. In March of 2004, La Petite Grocery opened its doors in the same building that John Willing and Frank Mackey built almost 100 years earlier with similar aspirations to provide the neighborhood with exotic teas, locally roasted coffee, and fresh produce. By doing this, we hope to provide a dining experience that evokes nostalgia of old New Orleans. Then there is a quite a respectable list of cocktails, beers, ciders, wines, and other liquors and drinks available that could be an entire episode of Nola Gent on its own. So we're not going to go through this really large menu of all manner of drinks. Our server then brought out a nice lagnap of some cheddar biscuits to us. So this was a good way to warm up and get the meal started. And just like I've destroyed this biscuit, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. And if you could also comment below and refer this video to any of your contacts, that would all really help me. Thank you so much. So as you likely guessed, I'm going with the LPG cheeseburger, which I am a big fan of. Look at this thing. Ooh, it just looks beautiful. Oh, it's such a pretty delicious looking cheeseburger. This thing is quite nice. Ooh, but it is uh, really full of some grease right now. The structural integrity is hard to hold together with one hand. This thing is definitely a two-handed job. The meat on there is really thick. Uh, I've got grease all over my hands already. This burger is just like oozing all kinds of delicious fat and grease flavor out of it. Look at this. Oh, it's so perfectly cooked. Very nice. This thing is definitely just got all sorts of wonderful flavors going on. Mm. 
So we've got their house pickles, onion marmalade, arugula, whole grain mustard, aioli, Gruyere cheese on a brioche bun with the hand cut fries making for an excellent combination of deliciousness. This thing is so good. This is certainly an above average size burger in most places. I would call it more of a standard size New Orleans restaurant burger for most of our more noted hamburger places. So it's a nice uh, huge meal size burger and you're not going to be going away hungry after this thing. It is uh, quite a lot of food here, definitely. This is not a tiny, teeny portion. So uh, many people will find that just half of it's enough for them. So depending on your appetite, you could have some leftovers with us if you're not really hungry. So I would suggest uh, making sure you've got a pretty darn good appetite before ordering this burger as it is quite a meal in itself. So you're not gonna really want a whole lot of appetizer beforehand or much dessert after as it does have quite a lot of filling ingredients that will certainly make you quite happy inside. This is also certainly not a neat thing to eat. You're gonna make a mess when you eat this. That's why usually I prefer to sit at the bar when I do it. When I'm sitting in the actual dining room area, I felt like I should be using more of a knife and fork to eat my dinner or lunch. Uh, so this is actually the first time I've ever eaten this burger just sitting down in the regular table dining area. I just feel better about eating it in the bar. All right, I've eaten all the meat now, and now I've polished off the bun. My hand is covered in grease. And just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button like I destroyed that burger and give this video a thumbs up, and I really would appreciate it, and it really does help me. Thanks so much. So now we have to sample these delicious French fries. These things are fried perfectly, and I got some French mustard. This is Actual mustard from France that has a nice spicy kick to it. I love this stuff. Definitely clears your sinuses out. Makes me feel happy all over. Ooh, such good stuff. So a little Creole mustard is always beautiful, but so is this traditional French Dijon mustard. Mmm, it's so good. And these fries are perfectly crisp and make a fantastic accompaniment to the burger. So everything goes together quite well. And I'm going to polish off the last few things we have here now. So everything's been very nice so far. And ooh, here I go. And there it is. We have a little bit of stuff left on the plate. We've got to eat our vegetables. Make sure we get all our vegetables in. It is really important to stay healthy during Carnival and eating the very super sugary sweet desserts and other great treats all the time isn't the best balanced meal. So it's vitally important to get a little vegetable intake. And as we say during Carnival time, you need to eat a little, drink a little, dance a little to stay healthy during Mardi Gras. <laughs> it's good to have a little uh, roughage here to keep me balanced. Okay, I cleaned my plate. So, just like I destroyed that meal, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I really would appreciate it. So, that was a darn good burger. Uh, the only feedback I would say is it was a little less good than usual. There was a little bit of toughness with some big chunks of meat that weren't quite ground down in the meat. Other than that, it was all good. Then our server brought out the dessert menu. So the selection is butterscotch pudding, strawberry tart, dark chocolate cake, baked Alaska, Louisiana citrus pavlova, a beta root beer float, and ice cream. And then a selection of after dinner drinks. I am way too full for any dessert though, so none for me. Although it is a great selection, so the total for my burger and an iced tea was $21.35 before tip. So I said goodbye to my good new friend, the pig, and it was time to head out. And what an amazing decorative piece they have on the door there. And thanks so much to everybody at Le Petit Grocery for so many good years of great food and the fantastic burger. And make sure to check us out next time for more Good food, good times, and good people. And happy carnival out there, everybody, y'all. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, 
and subscribe to the Knowledge Jet channel. It would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.